This is a case of a grade 3 hemorrhoidal disease. With the better understanding about the hemorrhoidal cushion, which help in anal continence, their preservance is the new way to look at the treatment of such hemorrhoids. We describe a technique of radiofrequency ablation of the hemorrhoid followed by their mucopexy to treat such grade 3 hemorrhoidal disease which we term as radiofrequency ablation and mucopexy of the hemorrhoid under vision. This technique is based on the fact that hemorrhoidal vessels have a constant anatomical location. Usually they penetrate the hemorrhoid pile at the base. Radio frequency ablation causes immediate reduction of vascular component of the hemorrhoid followed by its teethering to the underlying tissue with subsequent healing by fibrosis. This is possible because of the cellular molecular dissolution of the tissue shells which are exposed to the radio frequency waves. The sensory nerve endings in the treated area are destroyed with radio ablation minimizing post-operative pain. So, our procedure is a method that would fix the prolapsing hemorrhoid to its normal position while abolishing its vascular components without resection, thereby minimizing the complications related with excisional procedure. Plication or suturing of the anal cushion is being practiced since long as an alternative treatment of hemorrhoids. Various researchers have done this procedure since long. Followed by this, we do a mucopexy by suturing the hemorrhoidal mass by a continuous locking suture with an absorbable suture material. So, the absorbable suture material takes attention of one of the hemorrhoid to begin with and when a continuous locking interrupted sutures, we do fixation of all the visible hemorrhoids one by one each. So, first this particular hemorrhoid is being taken care of. So once you have completed one hemorrhoid, then you centered your attention to the next visible hemorrhoid and again the same procedure is repeated so as to finish with all the visible hemorrhoid. In recommending the combined technique, a question may be asked as to whether radio frequency ablation is the key component of the procedure or it's the mucopexy that does the work. Even the need for performing the radio frequency ablation may be called in question. In our opinion, this combination is complementary to each other. Though radio ablation takes care of the vascular component of the prolapsing mucosa by way of coagulation and cicatrization, it cannot effectively fix the redundant mucosa back to their position, but the same is ably anchored by the mucopexy procedure. So this hybrid procedure ensures a complete control of the mucosal prolapse and the 
ब्लीडिंग so we found this procedure to be quicker convenient less painful and an equally effective procedure for patients with advanced hemorrhoid the procedure is completed by inserting 